Another gorgeous day out here. Let's go pick some flowers. Let's see here, I'll take you. Oh look, a blue bonnet, don't pick those. Actually, yes you can, but these are the only ones we have on our property, so I'm gonna keep them. Ooh, we got a lot of this stuff. Let's just take the whole thing. All right, friends, so here are my flowers and the tools I'm going to need to make some really cool smash art. I've got a hammer, I've got a screwdriver, a, a rock, a rolling pin, and some scissors. Um, you do not have to have all these. You don't have to use these. Uh, you can use whatever you have available. You're going to want something that's kind of heavy and just slightly rounded. I've even done this with um, some children's blocks, with uh, cans from the kitchen. You use whatever you have available. It's gonna be very experimental. Um, I'm also, of course, going to need a piece of paper, a piece of wax paper, and a pencil or a pen, which we'll get into later. Now, what I'm going to be doing is I am going to be smashing these flowers onto this paper. I'm going to be kind of trying to uh, get the pigment from these flowers to sort of print on this paper. Now, it's not gonna be perfect, and, and that's kind of okay, because I like that it doesn't turn out perfect, but I'll show you how this goes. I'm gonna take my scissors first and I'm going to snip off as close to the head of the flower as I can. I'm gonna take this flower and I'm gonna flip it over. I'm gonna place it really anywhere I want. I'm gonna take my wax paper, lay it on top, and now comes the fun part where we get to smash. Now, uh, this is gonna get a little bit loud. All right, now if I take my wax paper off, oh my goodness, you can see I have absolutely destroyed my flower there, and that's kind of okay. Um, I'm gonna try to take the little bits of the flower that's there, I'm gonna take that off, and I'm gonna let that dry a bit. Now, um, let's try this again with something that's a little less violent. Let's see here. Uh, I'm gonna take one of these flowers. Now, this flower um, has a bunch of little heads on it, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get one of these itty bitty little guys. Let's see, there's one. I'm gonna flip him over right there. I'm gonna take my wax paper. Now, this side is kinda gross there, so I'm gonna try to wipe it off. And I'm gonna cover that up again. Now, instead of the really destructive part of this hammer, I'm actually gonna use the other side, the wooden side here, and I'm just gonna press a little bit more gently instead of smacking it, and the pigment from the flower should be squeezing out of there. All right, let's try that. I'm gonna pull that up. And let's see if I pull my flower up here. Oh yeah, that's that's a lot more, <laughs> that's a lot less violent there. And we get a lot better imprint of the flowers. Let's see, I'm gonna I'm gonna do some more of that. All right, I kind of clumped the flowers together and I really like uh, just the way that turned out. We're gonna try something a little different here. I'm gonna take uh, one of these yellow flowers, which is gonna be a little bit harder because it's got a really kind of fat bulb there. But I'm gonna take that and lay it out. Let's see, I'm gonna put that one right there. Still have my wax paper and this time, I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna try it with the, the butt end of this screwdriver. And as I'm pressing, I'm kind of rocking it back and forth, but I'm also trying to be careful not to move it too much. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect, but I want some, some indication of a flower there. All right. Yeah, that one just 
Didn't turn out quite like the hammer there, but it's still got a, a cool little imprint. So after much fun experimenting, I have found that the gentle uh, tapping of a hammer or even actually a rock um, has worked the best and that these flowers uh, just simply explode. Now I'm going to let this dry and I'm gonna come back with some pen and pencil in a moment. All right, the tools are put away. Uh, my pigment is pretty dry and I have scraped off as much of the uh, little bits of petal um, that I can. Obviously this is not an exact science. Um, this is not what I, um, that's not what I'm trying to, to do here. Um, I mean, obviously I'm using a rock and screwdrivers and hammers. But um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to add a little pin. Um, you can do this part with pencil. And I'm going to kind of draw around, outline these flowers and um, use the colors I have here. So I'm gonna start with the easy ones. Uh, here I've got these these little flowers which really really turned out probably the best. Um, and I'm just gonna trace around them and try to keep, try to try to remember what they look like and um, try to draw them in there. A little dot in the middle. And I'll do the same over here. So there are the uh, the outlines to these little flowers. I really like how it gave it kind of a doodly effect. And that's what I'm just gonna keep on doing to all these splats and splotches here. I'm gonna use my, my lines to try to give it just a, a little bit of definition. So there is my flower smash art. It is a fun little abstract doodle project. It's a really fun way to uh, document a vacation that you went to. Um, it's also a really good way to keep some crazy kids busy um, when you're outnumbered and camping. That's a true story. But uh, some tips I would say is wildflowers I have found um, have the brightest pigment and really work the best. Um, not saying you can't use store-bought flowers. Um, and also, um, if you're picking wildflowers and they're not on your property, be sure to ask for permission. Have fun, my friends.